It's finally here. The crafter. Yeah! <laughs> but first, pots, 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 pots. Let's talk about the decorated pot improvements. <laughs> Previously, the decorated pots were exactly that. They were decorated pots, but it was missing something. It was great that players could decorate their bases, but we wanted to provide an extra level of interaction, an extra bit of tangibility uh, to what the pots could provide. Because players were able to express themselves using the uh, pot charts, uh, in this way we can uh, add more value to the meaning behind pot charts by actually storing an item inside it. So you can store one item or up to a full stack, and what's different about it is that you can't really see what's there. There's no UI, and to, to know what's there, you need to break it. And that's when we had the idea of uh, smashing uh, the pots. You can even shoot them with a bow. With the bow? Yeah. What if you dropped an anvil on it? I don't know, I haven't tried. <laughs> So for technical players, we made it so you could uh, pull a redstone signal out of the decorated pot. Um, as soon as an item falls in there, that's now available as a redstone signal and you can use that within your builds. Yeah, I think we will see a lot of different things. Uh, using it as a hidden lock to your door, so if you add the correct item, uh, the door will magically open. The uh, best description I've heard from the team about the uh, decorated pot is that uh, it's now like a piggy bank. Oh. So you can place all your diamonds inside, but if you ever want to get the diamonds out again, you'll need to smash it. I can't wait to break all the pots in the game. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally here, the perfect redstone block, the crafter. So what does a crafter do? It's in the name. A crafter crafts items. People have been talking about automated crafting for years in the community. Uh, so we decided now is the time to do it. Now is the time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if someone were to ask me what's the easiest way to use the crafter, it would be to simply put a button on the side of it. This is something a beginner at Redstone can do immediately. Um, and hopefully once you have a button on the side and you're crafting out pickaxes, that'll inspire you to take the journey to learn more about redstone and uh, do something amazing with it. Let's say you have a paper farm and you have a gunpowder farm. Now you can turn all these resources together and with the help of the crafter make rockets if you like to fly around in the world. Oh, like a... Uh... The colorful ones with the sparkles. Yeah. yeah, or with a lighter even. Okay, yeah. The team very much focused on the visual interaction with the crafter. It needed to tell the player what's going on exactly. Um, so I really love the design we have with the goofy face and the little little switches on the side and then the redstone lights on the back. I think everything about it is telling a player exactly what's going on and I think we, I'm very proud of what we've done with that. I think a big challenge uh, of making the crafter, it was uh, making sure that, that it was understood. So when it was powered, it should have lights in the back there on. It means that soon the crafter will spit something out. Yeah. Uh, and as it has this charming face with a big mouth open to signify that the mouth is the most important part because it opens and closes. I think that with anything you build with redstone, it's really nice to see when it actually works. You had a plan and you tried a lot and finally you made it work. And the crafter just adds new possibilities to do more contraptions and it makes it less limits when you play. I read someone saying, like, it's the industrial revolution of Minecraft. <laughs> I recommend using a crafter to craft a decorated pot and then taking that crafter and putting it inside that decorated pot. Improved decorated pots are now available on all platforms. If you'd like to try out the crafter, you could do so with Minecraft Bedrock Edition, Betas and Previews, and in the Java Edition snapshots. So, go out, craft. Thank <laughs> you.